One of the most unexplored parts of our planet, teeming with creatures we never thought existed on Earth, the Mariana Trench. It's the deepest known part of the Earth's oceans, with its deepest point, the Challenger Deep, having a depth of more than 36,000 feet. This place is the reason why we're not even close to claiming we've discovered every single creature alive on our planet. From the deepest shipwreck in the world to bizarre microorganisms, here are 20 mysterious things found in the Mariana Trench. Number 20. The Second Known Deepest Shipwreck in the World Before the discovery of the U.S. Samuel B. Roberts, also known as Sammy B., in 2022, USS Johnston was the deepest known wreck. Coincidentally, USS Sammy B. and USS Johnston lie near each other in the Pacific Ocean. While Sammy B. was found at the staggering depth of 22,916 feet, Johnston is in its watery grave about 21,222 feet below the ocean surface. Before it sank into the ocean, USS Johnston was a naval vessel. It was a Fletcher-class destroyer of the United States Navy. The USS Johnston gained renewed attention in recent years due to its remarkable resting place on the ocean floor. After the discovery of the USS Samuel B. Roberts in 2022, the USS Johnston now stands as the second known deepest shipwreck in the world. Commissioned in 1943 during World War II, the USS Johnston served with distinction in several pivotal naval battles. The ship's most notable engagement occurred during the Battle of Samar on October 25, 1944, part of the larger Battle of Leyte Gulf. This once valiant ship is now lying at the bottom of the ocean, slowly decaying and being eaten away by sea creatures. Number 19. Goblin Shark This creature may look like it came straight out of a horror sci-fi movie, but it exists, and it lurks in the deepest and darkest part of the ocean. I don't know if that makes it more terrifying or less disturbing. I'll let you decide. This creature, with its horrifying grin, is the Goblin Shark. Scientifically known as Mitsukurina Austoni, it is indeed one of the most bizarre creatures found on our planet. The goblin shark derives its name from its grotesque appearance, which is often likened to that of a mythical goblin or an alien creature. Unlike its relatives, this creature has an incredibly elongated snout known as a rostrum. Unlike most sharks, which extend their jaws outward to capture prey, the goblin shark's jaw is thrust forward from its head in a manner reminiscent of a sci-fi movie. This unique adaptation allows it to rapidly snatch up unsuspecting prey, such as fish and cephalopods, in the blink of an eye. Now that definitely makes this creature more horrifying, doesn't it? Usually, the goblin shark has a pinkish-white hue due to the presence of blood vessels near the surface of its skin. This gives the shark a rather ghostly appearance and aids in camouflage in the deep-sea habitat, where sunlight is scarce. Again, every creature in this video lives at extreme depths, just like the goblin shark that lives at depths of more than 4,000 feet. There's no chance you'd see them if you decide to swim in the ocean, so you don't need to be very afraid of them. Number 18. Deep Sea Hatchet Fish The deep sea hatchet fish is one of the strangest creatures discovered in the deepest depths of the water. Its body, resembling the sharp blade of a hatchet, is a marvel of adaptation to its environment. These species should not be confused with the freshwater hatchetfish commonly seen in home aquariums. Among the hatchetfish species, the largest is the Argyropelecus gigas, the giant or large hatchetfish. This creature grows up to 6 inches in length, which may be small compared to other sea creatures, but this is actually the largest among its family. One of the remarkable abilities hatchetfishes possess is bioluminescence, the creation of their own light. Photophores, specialized light-producing organs running along their bodies, allow hatchetfish to emit a faint glow. This light, similar to a firefly's, helps them navigate the depths. Interestingly, the photophores are strategically positioned for counter-illumination, something that allows these creatures to mask their presence from predators by matching the faint illumination above. Hatchetfish can be found in temperate waters across the globe, residing at depths ranging from 600 feet to 4,500 feet. Number 17. Supergiant Amphipod Amphipods, or rather Amphipoda, is an order of malacostrican crustaceans with no carapace. Basically, these creatures look like strange shrimp. However, the ones living in the deep are probably the strangest and weirdest creatures in this family. In 2012, a group of scientists embarked on an expedition to sample a deep-sea trench, 
hoping to uncover the mysteries hidden below. Little did they know that their journey would bring them face to face with some extraordinary creatures. The surprise awaited them as their traps were pulled up, revealing the presence of seven gigantic crustaceans known as supergiant amphipods. These creatures are more than 20 times larger than their typical crustacean relatives, which are usually less than half an inch long. They thrive in lakes and oceans worldwide, earning them the nickname Insects of the Sea. They were first discovered in 1899 during a traveling expedition in the Atlantic Ocean. However, they remained elusive for nearly a century. It wasn't until the 1970s that scientists managed to photograph these oversized creatures in the northern Pacific Ocean, hundreds of miles north of Hawaii. These magnificent creatures are considered one of the many peculiar anomalies found in the depths of the deep sea. Number 16. Snailfish I can't decide just yet whether these creatures are cute or bizarre, so I'll let you decide for yourself. These adorable yet weird creatures are known as snailfish. Even their name is unusual, yet kind of cute. Deep-sea snailfish are found in the deepest parts of the ocean, including the Mariana Trench and other deep trenches around the world. These depths can reach incredible pressures and have low temperatures, making them inhospitable for many other life forms. However, deep-sea snailfish have evolved specialized characteristics that enable them to thrive in this harsh environment. These creatures have gelatinous and elongated bodies, which allow them to navigate through the water with ease. They typically have soft, scaleless skin and lack a swim bladder, an organ that aids in buoyancy in other fish species. Instead, deep-sea snailfish rely on their muscular bodies and large pectoral fins to maneuver and maintain stability in the water. Due to the extreme depths they inhabit, deep-sea snailfish have also adapted to the lack of light. Some species have evolved large, sensitive eyes that can detect bioluminescent light produced by other deep-sea organisms. As bizarre as these creatures are, I guess they're only changing for survival. Number 15. Comb Jellies The benthic comb jelly, also known as the tenophore, is a peculiar and mesmerizing creature found in the deep sea. It's known for its unique appearance and fascinating adaptations that allow it to survive in the ocean's depths. Benthic comb jellies are members of the phylum tenophora and are distinct from jellyfish, despite their similar gelatinous appearance. They have a transparent bell-shaped body with delicate comb-like rows of cilia known as comb plates that run along their sides. These comb plates are responsible for their mesmerizing iridescent glow, which is created by the scattering and reflecting of light. These creatures are voracious predators, capturing their prey with specialized tentacles that contain adhesive cells called coloblasts. When prey comes into contact with these tentacles, the coloblasts release a sticky substance that immobilizes the prey allowing the benthic comb jelly to consume it. Number 14. Black Sea Devil The Black Sea Devil is the type of creature I imagine would star in the next B-rated horror movie. Just take a look at its horrifying face. You're looking at the Black Sea Devil anglerfish. Now if it helps you be less creeped out, this creature is tiny. The Black Sea Devil is an ambush predator, and it has a slow, almost lumbering swimming style. It patiently waits taking advantage of its surroundings to surprise its prey. Female anglerfish have a large round body, sharp teeth, and a hinged jaw, but their most distinct feature is their elysium. This appendage acts as a bioluminescent lure, glowing in the darkness of the deep sea. The purpose of the luminous lure is to attract unsuspecting prey toward the black sea devil. As the prey gets closer, the anglerfish uses its sharp teeth and powerful jaws to capture and devour it. This behavior, coupled with its eerie appearance, has earned it the fitting nickname Black Sea Devil. Yep, I wouldn't want to see this creature anytime soon. Number 13. Dumbo Octopus Now this creature is an adorable one. Introducing the Dumbo Octopus, a creature that's so cute, even scientists can't help but squeal and marvel over them. It's named after the lovable Disney character Dumbo, the elephant, due to its ear-like fins which resemble the ears of the famous elephant. This is one of the creatures that doesn't look like something straight out of your nightmares. Dumbo octopuses are deep-sea dwellers primarily found in the world's oceans at extreme depths. They're known to inhabit depths ranging from 3,000 to 23,000 feet. These creatures have ear-like fins that they often use to cover their eyes and to glide and swim around in the ocean. In terms of appearance, Dumbo octopuses have a gelatinous and soft body lacking the well-defined musculature seen in other octopus species. 
They possess a rounded mantle and short arms, which give them a cute and chubby appearance. They come in various colors, including pink, red, orange, and blue, enabling them to blend with their surroundings and camouflage themselves from potential predators or prey. Despite their endearing appearance, Dumbo octopuses are elusive creatures, and much about their behavior and their life cycle remains a mystery. Their reproductive habits, growth rates, and population dynamics are still yet to be studied to this day. Number 12. Megalodon The Megalodon, often referred to as the giant shark, is one of the most enigmatic creatures that allegedly lurks in the ocean. Believed to have lived between 23 million and 2.6 million years ago, the Megalodon was estimated to grow up to 60 feet in length, making it one of the largest predators to have ever existed. Despite its prominence in popular culture, the Megalodon remains shrouded in mystery. Since the Megalodon went extinct millions of years ago, at least officially, all we have left to rely on are fossilized teeth, vertebrae, and other skeletal fragments. These fossils produce vital clues about the shark's existence, but they leave significant gaps in our understanding of its behavior, habits, and appearance. Scientists have pieced together information about the Megalodon's size and predatory nature by studying its teeth. These teeth, which can reach up to 7 inches long, from these remains, researchers have estimated the shark's size, diet, and hunting strategies. It's believed that the megalodon primarily feeds on large marine mammals, such as whales. However, much about the megalodon's behavior and lifestyle remains speculative. Its habitat and migration patterns are still a topic of debate among scientists. Some theories propose that it inhabited coastal areas and shallow waters, while others suggest it may have ventured into the open ocean. There have been occasional reports of alleged megalodon sightings in modern times. These accounts, although unverified, have fueled speculation about the possibility of the megalodon's survival in the hidden depths of the ocean. While the megalodon is widely accepted to have gone extinct millions of years ago, there have been speculations and theories suggesting that this ancient giant shark might still exist in the deep, dark depths of the Mariana Trench. Number 11. Zombie Worms did you know there are zombies in the Mariana Trench? But they're not the zombies you're probably thinking of. Zombie worms, scientifically known as Osadax, earned their macabre name due to their peculiar feeding habits and appearance. These creatures belong to a group of bone-eating worms that dwell in the depths, feasting on the remains of deceased marine animals. Imagine a scene straight out of a horror movie where these seemingly lifeless worms emerge from the ocean floor to feast on decaying bones. What makes zombie worms particularly terrifying is their method of obtaining nutrients. These worms lack mouths and digestive systems, which makes you wonder how they survive, right? Well, let me tell you, their strategy is downright nightmarish. Zombie worms possess long, fibrous structures called roots that burrow into the bones of dead whales and other large marine carcasses. Through these roots, they extract nutrients from the bones, gradually consuming them from the inside out. It's a haunting sight, imagining these worms gradually turning the skeletal remnants into their own sustenance. Zombie worms have a unique symbiotic relationship with the bacteria in their bodies. These bacteria play a vital role in helping the worms break down bone material, providing them with the necessary nutrients for survival. While the image of zombie worms might send shivers down your spine, they only do what they can to survive the harsh environment in the deep sea. So as long as you don't find yourself down there, you don't need to worry about these guys. Number 10. Telescope Octopus You're looking at the Telescope Octopus, and if you look closely at its eyes, it's pretty easy to see how it got its name. These creatures reside in the deep sea, ranging from 500 to 6,500 feet, and are equipped with mesmerizingly large telescopic eyes. These cephalopods have no scales on their gelatinous and transparent bodies, making them almost invisible in their environment. Their translucent appearance gives them a ghostly look, measuring around 4.4 to 10.6 inches in length, with most species around 8 inches long. Telescope octopuses possess 8 arms covered in 280 suction cups each. These arms are incredibly flexible and can be moved and rotated independently, allowing them to taste, grip, and smell food and other objects. Living in the deep sea, Telescope octopuses are expert ambush predators and feed on crustaceans, fish, jellyfish, and other tiny creatures. They hunt primarily at night, utilizing their transparent bodies to surprise their prey while avoiding the sight of predators. 
These guys are quite good at swimming, but for some strange reason, they prefer walking, or rather crawling. Number 9. Frilled Shark The frilled shark owes its name to the row of red-lined gills that resemble an Elizabethan ruff. However, its appearance goes beyond frills. With a snake-like head and a slender body, it bears a striking resemblance to an eel. This ancient species has been swimming in our oceans for a staggering 80 million years, long before dinosaurs roamed the land. Now let's talk about those teeth, 300 of them to be precise. These inward-facing teeth give the great white a run for its money. While we haven't witnessed a frilled shark's feeding habits, we can't imagine a scenario where their sharp white teeth lure prey close and a swift, powerful strike seals their fate. Interestingly, female frilled sharks outsize their male counterparts. These mighty mamas hold a remarkable record, the most prolonged gestation period on Earth. Imagine carrying around six pups for over three years. During this time, the pups develop inside egg capsules, receiving nourishment from the yolk instead of a placenta like human babies. Encounters with frilled sharks are exceedingly rare. In 2015, an Australian fisherman had a spine-chilling experience when he caught one. It was like something out of a horror movie. But fear not, friends. These sharks reside hundreds if not thousands of feet below the ocean surface. So the chances of crossing paths with a frilled shark in person are highly unlikely, unless they haunt your nightmares. Number 8. Ping Pong Tree Sponge Imagine a flesh-eating sponge that resembles a tree covered in ping pong balls. It sounds like something straight out of a wild imagination, right? But that's precisely what a ping pong tree sponge is. Standing approximately 50 centimeters, about 20 inches tall, this peculiar sponge consists mainly of a thin stalk. At its top, you'll find a mesmerizing arrangement of ethereal globules attached to stems emanating from a central body. It's like witnessing a gelatinous explosion frozen in time. But don't be fooled by the soft and spectral appearance of those blobs. You see, those swellings are covered in spicules which serve as structural elements, providing support and rigidity to the organisms that possess them. This sponge happens to have tiny hook-shaped structures, and here's where the carnivorous aspect comes into play. Any unsuspecting crustacean that encounters these spicules finds itself trapped as the bristly hairs on its body intertwine with the hooks, much like Velcro. Slowly, ever so slowly, the cells within the ping-pong tree sponge start moving toward their struggling prey, initiating the digestion process. Each cell acts like an amoeba, employing a process called phagocytosis to consume tiny fragments of the doomed victim. Usually, sponges do this to bacteria and other small organisms, but the carnivorous sponge takes it to a whole new level with larger prey. Can you imagine the horror if only these creatures were big enough to capture humans? Number 7. Barrel Eye Fish With its transparent head and upward-facing tubular eyes, it's easy to see why the barrel eye fish is among the weirdest. Imagine a fish that can look directly above through its own skull, its eyes are shielded by a transparent dome, allowing it to spot prey or predators lurking above in the darkness. Adding to its strangeness, the barrel eye fish has a tubular elongated body and can grow up to a foot long. It navigates the depths of the ocean using a combination of gracefully flapping fins and a unique gelatinous adaptation. Number 6. Sea Cucumber Deep sea cucumbers are probably among the most chill creatures in the ocean, but boy, do they have some pretty weird stuff going on. Sea cucumbers exhibit a range of shapes, from elongated to plump, and their bodies are covered in flexible and leathery skin, often adorned with fascinating patterns and textures. Their appearance alone sets them apart from the conventional marine creatures we encounter. But it's not just their appearance that makes them weird. Sea cucumbers have a rather peculiar defense mechanism. When threatened, some species have the ability to expel their internal organs, literally eviscerating themselves. While this might sound alarming, this habit is meant to distract predators rather than hurt them. Now here's where things get even more peculiar. Sea cucumbers have a strange diet. Rather than being picky eaters, they are detritivores, meaning they feed on decomposing organic matter found on the ocean floor. While this behavior actually helps ecosystems in the ocean, it's still one of the weird things about this creature. Number 5. Predatory tunicate. Found in the depths of the Pacific, this remarkable organism sports a wide-open mouth, 
ready to trap any unsuspecting prey that comes its way. Dating back millions of years, the predatory tunicate is an ancient species with primitive features, including a basic spinal cord. Imagine a creature that is essentially just a mouth attached to a stem. Fully translucent, this organism is also called the ghost fish. That's basically the entirety of the predatory tunicate. Unlike other tunicates, this particular species stands out because it's evolved to become an ambush predator instead of a filter feeder. It patiently waits with its oral hood agape, eagerly anticipating the arrival of small animals to swim right into its trap. Once a meal is captured, the tunicate swiftly shuts its trap and begins the process of digestion. It's kind of like the Venus flytrap of the ocean. Remarkably, the predatory tunicate is a creature of habit, spending its entire adult life rooted in one spot. As a larva, it drifts in the ocean until it finds a suitable location on the ocean floor or a cliff wall, where it secretes a sticky substance to firmly anchor itself. Number 4. Spoonworms Are you brave enough to take a bite of one of these creatures? These creatures are pretty strange, and in some parts of the world, they're eaten as delicacies. These deep-sea dwellers, also known as Icurians, have elongated bodies that resembled, you guessed it, spoons. Their unusual appearance is accentuated by their lack of a visible head or eyes, making them look like otherworldly creatures. This proboscis serves multiple functions, including feeding and respiration. Some species of spoonworms possess remarkable abilities to regenerate lost body parts, making them even more intriguing. Number 3. Strange Sound In the depths of the Mariana Trench, a mysterious and eerie noise has been perplexing researchers for years. A strange metallic sound, only about 38 hertz, but can get up to about 8,000. Many claim it's reminiscent of a baleen whale's call, but not quite. Despite the similarities, there are still unanswered questions. Baleen whale calls are often associated with mating and are typically heard in winter. Because of this strange sound, conspiracy theorists now claim that a monster lurks in the depths of the Mariana Trench, slowly making its presence known. However, some researchers argue that this sound that is now aptly named the Western Pacific Biotwang, or simply the Biotwang, is nothing but a new type of call by whales. While the whale theory is reasonable and logical, there are still doubts surrounding the real source of this eerie, mysterious sound. Do you have any theories about what this may be? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Number 2. Plastic Pollution an American explorer recently made a groundbreaking discovery while breaking the record for the deepest ever dive in the Mariana Trench. But unlike the astounding sea creatures I've been talking about, this find is quite worrisome. During the dive, which reached a staggering depth of seven miles, the diver discovered something strange. You see, one could easily think that the Mariana Trench, hidden away from the reach of human activity, would be free from the global issue of plastic pollution. However, you'd be surprised. Among the sea creatures the explorer encountered, he also stumbled upon something quite disheartening, a plastic bag and sweet wrappers. It turns out that even the deepest parts of the ocean are not safe from our plastic waste. Sadly, pieces of plastic were discovered at an astonishing depth of 36,000 feet within the Mariana Trench. When analyzing the debris logged in the study's database, researchers found that plastic was the most prevalent with plastic bags being the primary source of plastic waste. Additionally, there were other unidentified materials, such as rubber, metal, wood, and cloth. Surprisingly, a whopping 89% of the plastic found in the Mariana Trench was single-use plastic, items that are used once and then discarded, like plastic water bottles or disposable utensils. This finding highlights the overwhelming presence of single-use plastics in our everyday lives and their significant impact on our environment. While the Mariana Trench may seem like a dark and lifeless abyss, it hosts more life than one might expect, and many of them are being affected by our careless disposal. Plastic pollution has become a pressing environmental issue, and this discovery emphasizes the need for increased efforts to address and reduce our plastic waste. And now it's time for today's topic. As one of the most intriguing and mysterious locations on our planet, the deepest depth known to man naturally attracts researchers and scientists. Recently, an expedition went to examine the Challenger Deep, and what they captured in Mariana Trench shocked the whole world. We've discovered countless new species in the Mariana Trench, 
But the creature the scientists spotted in the waters near the Mariana Trench was unlike any other. A creature so bizarre that many consider it a cryptid or a creature of lore and legends instead of an undiscovered creature. Known as the Ningen, which translates to human in Japanese, is a term used to describe an entity that is said to resemble a massive humanoid figure with a white, blubbery body and a featureless face. Witnesses claim the monster can grow to enormous proportions, reaching lengths of up to 98 feet or more. It's often described as having a smooth, pale skin texture, similar to that of a whale or a dolphin. Witnesses also report seeing fins or limbs resembling hands and feet on the creature's body. While some believe the Ningen is a genuine unknown species, others suggest it might be a product of misidentifications, exaggerations, or pure fabrication. Some possible explanations include sightings of giant icebergs, whales, or other marine creatures that have been misperceived or distorted in people's accounts. Number 1. Plastic-Eating Microorganisms Now here's what's interesting. While researchers have found plastic pollutants in the ocean, they also found creatures that were slowly nibbling and eating plastic waste. In 2019, a British research team conducted an intriguing study on amphipods, small shrimp-like crustaceans that scavenge on the seabed. It seemed that these creatures strangely have traces of plastic in them. They captured amphipods from six different trenches, including the renowned Mariana Trench, which reaches depths of more than seven miles beneath the waves in the Western Pacific. Back in their lab, the scientists made a startling discovery. Over 80% of amphipods had plastic fibers and particles in their digestive systems. Even more astonishingly, in the samples collected from the Mariana Trench, they found fibers in every single amphipod, making it a 100% occurrence. This finding is significant because previous studies on plastic ingestion by marine organisms primarily focused on surface-dwelling creatures. It's crucial to understand that once plastic particles sink into the deep sea, they have nowhere else to go. In the vast expanse of our oceans, there are estimated to be around 51 trillion pieces of plastic. This is alarming because these tiny particles pose a threat to marine life that reside in the deep sea. Now, I don't know about you, but the thought of sea creatures ingesting plastic and having their homes destroyed is concerning. It reminds us of the urgent need to reduce our usage of plastic in everyday life. Which of these discoveries do you think is the most interesting? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.